Hello, welcome to Tokusatsu Thursdays. Today we're reviewing the 2016 science fiction Japanese film Cutie Honey Tears, which is a uh, uh, anime adaption of Gonagai's manga and anime, right? Live action adaption. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's kind of late and uh, had a busy day. So, yeah, it's uh, directed by Takeshi Asai and Ryo Higuchi. Um, starring Keita Arai as Akira Oyoshi, Kawachi Iwaki as Kisaragi, Takahiro Mira as Seiji Hayami. Apparently, he, he, he's in com he was in the uh, Kamen Rider series. And Maria Nisa Uchi as Cootie Honey, which apparently she was an idol. Right? So this movie is, um, it's not like the anime, from what I could tell. Apparently they did more, a more faithful adaption of the anime back in 2004. This is more of a more serious science fiction film, which if people don't know what Cootie Honey was, was which I've never seen Cootie Honey, but it very from what I've seen of it, it was very much like an etchy, like super like female superhero show where you you would have like a female heroine fight bad guys in half naked outfits, and once in a while her boobs would pop out or something like that. <laughs> At least that's what I've seen. I don't know. I don't. Know. Yeah. Which is like, if you ever watch a lot of Gona Guy anime, you know, you know you're gonna get fan service, right? Which, if people don't know who Gona Guy is, uh, Gona Guy is most famous probably for Mazinger Z and Devilman, right? Which he was the godfather of Super Robot shows, and he was also, you know, he also created Devilman, which is probably, uh, one of the more famous Japanese anti-hero uh, characters, right? So this movie, uh, very, like, <laughs> this movie's story is a, was a little confusing. Um, I probably should have paid more attention to subtitles, but the movie is basically about, it's in like this, um, this cyberpunk dystopia where... Um, you have a city run by an AI and this female android called Lady Jiru, who is the main villain of the film. And basically, uh, they, basically like the sun is blocked out for some reason and all, all the rich people live in the higher tiers of said city. Where in the underground you have more of the poor people and all the uh, industri like all the machines that run like that you know run th the city uh, send all the pollution down to the lower levels where where all the poor people are and they're getting sick and dying right from the polluted air they all have to wear uh, they all have to wear uh, like gas masks and stuff. Um, so a, a scientist called Kisaragi created this female android called Cutie Honey or Hitomi, right? Who may have been his daughter who got into an accident? We're not sure, right? And she escapes, right? And with her father's help who was, who she thinks is dead because he was shot, right? And... Yeah, she falls down to lower levels, saves this boy, uh, this boy from the underground who was, you know, g getting arrested by, you know, the police, right? 20 years later, that boy is now a journalist who is following the exploits of this mysterious female heroine who helps people from the underground, right? Uh... Right, and that gets the attention of Lady Jiro, right? So one day, Hiyami uh, sees Cutie, hunt, cutie uh, Honey uh, save, 
uh, save one of the rebels from the Groms. Uh, sorry, the not Groms, the Sodoms, which are these like uh, drone police, right? Which they they kind of, they, they kind of if you ever seen like Iron Man two and you know they have the Iron Man drones. P picture those heads on people's bo on people's bodies, right? But it's like black, uh, but black, right? That's all they look like, and I couldn't find any pictures on Google. Oh my god! But yeah, like th that's what they look like, right? And she she has the ability to change her outfit, right? <laughs> um, using like nano machines, right? It's very much like. If you ever seen Vin Diesel's blunt Bloodshot, she pretty much has the same powers, but instead of like red lights, it's pink lights. So every time she gets wounded, you see these like sparkly pink lights that like close her wounds and stuff. And that's because she has like some kind of energy condenser that can tran that can uh, like uh, convert matter, which is what Lady Jiro wants from her. So yeah. Um, after that, you know, Hiyami meets up with Cutie Honey, and, you know, they find out each other's stories, right? She, Cutie Honey's been living with her aunt and uncle since, uh, she's, since, since she, uh, shown up into the, uh, underground, right? And Hiyami, thanks to, like, being saved by, uh, Hitomi has now de dedicated his life to... Helping people from the underground, right? And they meet up with other resistance leaders, the other resistant members, which is just like a cool guy, uh, a nerd, and a badass <laughs> ch chick with uh, braid with uh, braids right in her hair. And they try to get Cutie Honey to join uh, join their plan to shut down the AI in in the main tower which is going to in like you know couple hours is going to unleash a wave of like a a wave like a wave of polluted like clouds poisonous clouds that's going to kill everybody in the underground right <laughs> and cutie honey for some reason is reluctant at first but the decides to join their plan after you know it was revealed that the backup plan was the they were just gonna blow up the tower killing innocent people right obviously she joins joins them and you have this you have this convoluted plan where they have to where cutie honey dressed in a sexy outfit infiltrates a party right which is uh hosted by the, the white guy in the commercials of the movie. The movie tries to be Robocop, right? Where you have the, the this white guy who speaks like Japanese very over the top, right? Uh, sells like, you know, uh, s sells shit, uh, sells shit like gas masks and shit, right? O or which they call oxygen masks, right? And some of the fucking dialogue in that he comes out of his mouth makes me think, does this guy even speak English? <laughs> like, his English was like, dude, like, he would speak English, right? And he would speak Japanese, but it's like, the English, very, like, came off very try-hard, like somebody trying to do an American accent, right? And, uh, mate, let's look up this guy. What was this guy's name? Eric Jacobson. This guy looked, this guy looked weird. Okay, I got some guy from Harvard. I doubt this guy was from Harvard. At first, I thought he was like a French actor because he looks French to me for some reason. But yeah, that character was very, very over the top, man. It was like, like, oh my god, like this, for a movie, like this movie is weird because it's like, it's it's a perverted heroine. <laughs> it's like a perverted like. Edgy character, but they try to make her like they they try to take her and put her in like a RoboCop kind of like Aeon Flux Ultraviolet movie, 
right, where your female heroine has to save the day, right, in, like, this, like, cyberpunk, you know, dystopia f future, right, which the action scenes were not bad, right, they were okay, but it's, like, the, the main character does not have her sword, and she doesn't have any special weapons, whereas Lady Juro, uh, ha has, like, this EMP thing that she can release from the palm of her uh, palm of her hand, which was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, like the, the movie, it, it's the thing where like aesthetically the movie looked good. Like, the movie looked like it had production value, but then at times there was some br pretty bad green screens, right? Like when the when the guy when the one guy tried to like you know infiltrate the like um, server room and he. He has to, like, there's this big empty space, and he's, like, in, like, uh, like, uh, stairway, right? And, sorry, uh, like, a bridge, and, like, he has to avoid, like, lights and shit. That shit, like, looked very green screen, <laughs> right? And he was, like, digitally imposed or whatever, right? Awkward, like, cut in awkwardly, right? Uh, and the movie has, like, an ending? Where it's like, where it's very much remind me of the ending of like fucking uh, Devil Man. If you ever seen that movie, it was not exactly the same, but it was like you know it's very similar. Where it's like the does fucking like go to guy and all of his fucking like uh, superhero stories with uh, the character basically, you know. Spoiler alert, heroically sacrificing themselves? I don't know. Like, did Violent J... What's his name? Violent Jack, did he do that? I can't remember. But yeah, it's like... Wow, I, I've seen this kind of ending from a Gona Guy movie before. Um, yeah, so I don't know like what I can say about the movie. The movie does not have a very high rating on IMDb. And I think... It's a thing where the movie has production value... And the act, the acting was good. I think the the main problem with the movie is like the action scenes aren't that impressive. And then there's the thing where like, um, the like the the main heroine like doesn't use weapons, doesn't have any like you know special attacks. She's just like she's just a ro robot that uses martial arts and can heal. And the, yeah, she can change her outfits and stuff. But like yeah, that's about it. Like <laughs> right. I mean, she did do like a special attack, I guess, at the end, where her 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 fist glo uh, glowed like pink and shit. Uh, but yeah, uh, there was. Oh, by the way, Gona Guy has a cameo in the movie. <coughs> oh, sorry, need to see. Uh, had a cameo in the movie, like w when she shows up at the party. And she's wearing like this sexy white outfit. You know, going to guy was one of the people ogling her. Right? <laughs> Which I'm like, wow, that's a very like going to guy <laughs> uh, cameo. The very appropriate going to guy cameo. Which like, he, he was he even in Devil Man? Like he wasn't even in like I don't remember him in Devil Man at all. You would think he would have been in that movie. Which apparently that movie like going to that Devil Man was also made in the same year that the first Cootie Honey movie came out, which was 2004. Which is, this is not a sequel to that. This was, this is its own, uh, standalone thing, which that Cootie Honey movie, uh, looked more anime accurate, and she actually had the sword. Right, which, uh, I, I kept wondering, is the sword gonna show up at some point in the movie? Never does. She never has the sword. Right, which I guess is would have been nice. It would have spiced up the action scenes a bit. Right? But overall, I don't know, man. I, can, I don't know if I can recommend this movie. Because it's not... If you compare this movie to other female, soup, like, you know, science fiction films like Aeon Flux, Ultraviolet, aesthetically, it's not as good as those films. But I think, like, story-wise... It was good, 
If you know what I mean, like I, I, I was, you know, I thought the the story itself was compelling, and there was, there's a pretty, uh, like, there's a there's a revelation in the movie, uh, that was pretty grotesque, <laughs> where you find out the fate of like one of like basically the scientist guy, and it very much reminded me of fucking. Uh, that scene in the RoboCop remake where like the guy is like, "Oh, how much of me of me is left?" and they they disassemble his robot body. You see, he's just like you know, like like some lungs and a heart and like a plastic tubing <laughs> connected to his head. There's a scene just like that where it's like, "Oh, uh, they're keeping like the the upper part of his torso and his head alive to run the fucking." city man it's like holy fuck <laughs> that was brutal uh that was shocking but overall if i were to give this movie rain i think it's just an average movie at best like a five out of ten i can't really yeah i can't really recommend it but like i think i would be more interested in watching it's a thing where like this movie like it's i imagine it's probably better than like Story-wise and aesthetically, is probably better than the like the first Cootie Honey movie. But that Cootie Honey movie probably is a more fun film. I don't know. We'll review that at some point. But yeah, that's a five out of ten at best. Uh, that's it for this review, guys. Peace.